In this video, I am going to show you how I make three of my family's favorite dinners that only cost $3 to make. Tonight for dinner, I am going to make my crispy potato and pinto bean burritos or soft tacos, whatever you want to call it. This dinner costs probably less than $3. We're going to use about 50 cents worth of potatoes. We're gonna use maybe 50 cents worth of tortillas and then a can of pinto beans, which Walmart has for 78 cents right now. It tastes like the Taco Bell burritos, but they're like heartier and it requires very little skill to make. So let's make it. I have washed and peeled about a pound's worth of just plain old russet potatoes the kind you find in the five or 10 pound bags. I have diced them all fairly small. I will put them into this pot of water and get them boiling until they are just fork tender. I thoroughly let my potatoes dry and now I have my pan boiled and heated up. I drained a little bit of the water out, but we'll leave the rest and we'll get our potato or pinto beans heated up while our potatoes are cooking. And then you don't have to do this, but I do put about a tablespoon or two of butter into them. And I put garlic powder and salt and pepper, and then I mash them up. with garlic powder, chili powder, and then salt and pepper. chickpea pitas or garbanzo bean pitas whatever you call them um, I buy the pitas from Costco they're in come in a big pack of 12 and they're $3.89 and then I divide them into um, three separate freezer bags and I freeze them and I just pull them out when I need them so that makes it super cheap and then um, just a can of garbanzo beans super filling you'd be surprised at how much this dinner uh, will fill you up and it's healthy so let me show you what i do so this mini pitas is a little over a dollar this is 78 cents this was 68 cents even though winco had them cheaper but i had already bought these from walmart then you can use whatever onion you have i prefer red onion with this but it's you can use whatever you have and then some olive oil and vinegar. I'm just gonna use white wine vinegar, but you can use apple cider or uh, red wine vinegar. And then salt and pepper. And then I just dumped the can into a small pot and I will simmer these about five minutes or so just to soften them up. Then I will drain them and let them cool down a little bit. about 
two or three tablespoons of olive oil, two tablespoons of vinegar, and then salt and pepper. And I will put that in the fridge. It'll probably be about four or five hours until dinner time. And then I will warm up my pita on a pan, mash up some avocado and spread that on there. And then this, and that is it. Dinner will be done. Just pulled this out of the fridge and we're gonna start making dinner here, but it looks a little dry. Sometimes everything kind of absorbs in as it sits there. And so I'm just gonna do one more tablespoon of vinegar. dinner is going to be potato taquitos and you can also make um, these as tacos which I do often but I thought taquitos would be fun Please. so um, it's a very fun yummy easy dinner and very cheap to make and so let me show you what you'll need so I just have about a pound's worth of just regular old russet potatoes that I will peel and chop up a bit and boil them. And I will just kind of treat them like mashed potatoes. And then some corn tortillas and some jack cheese. I'm probably using about maybe a dollar's at most uh, worth of tortillas, dollar's worth of cheese, and probably 50 cents worth of potatoes. I've just roughly mashed up my potatoes and I'm gonna just sprinkle in some chili powder garlic powder, salt and pepper, and I'll mix that in. And then I'll mix in my cheese just with my um, potato masher. And I just have about like a cup's worth of cheese. To keep these from cracking when we roll them, I just put like three at a time into a wet paper towel and I'll microwave this about 30 seconds. I just put about that much potatoes um, closer to the edge than the center and then we'll roll them up and keep it closed with a, a toothpick or two. And like I said, you can also do this just and make tacos with them. And when I do that, I just um, put the potatoes and fold it and it will stay like closed since the potatoes and the cheese hold it together and then you can just fry it on each side. So that way you don't have to do like toothpicks and all that. So I have them ready to go. And I have my oil heating up in the pan. I'm just using avocado oil, but you can certainly use vegetable. So this is what they look like. I just let them cool and then I pull the toothpicks out and I'm gonna top it with some lettuce, onion, sour cream, and salsa. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what dinner you're most excited to try. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe and like this video and I will see you all in my next video.